Hi Engineering Janta, I am Vaibhav Shukla and today as promised I am again here with the part 2 of the TCS Code Vita previous year questions and I would be telling you the solution of the question that we left in the last class and that was a previous year question so hence it needs to be solved but before I go further go ahead and follow me on this particular Instagram handle which is at the rate Shukla Ji speaks so that you never miss out on anything that I post and you can directly contact me here fine now code vita is actually a very very important contest you all of know it can provide you multiple hiring opportunities but in a structured way preparation is highly essential I'll tell you how to do that but let's first of all go to the question that we had so if you correctly remember this question was a homework for you that you're going and you're actually organizing a birthday party and you need to buy balloons for all the guests each guest wants a specific number of balloons and you have a special deal if a guest requests more than five balloons the number of balloons they will get will be multiplied by two remember I had given you a hint that this is a condition to account for the special bonus if they request five or fewer balloons you will just give them the number they requested. Your task is to calculate the total number of balloons you need to buy for the party after considering the special deal. Okay, so it's about that. And now if I show you what's the input and output format. So the first line contains an integer n, the number of guests at the party, fine. The second line contains n space separated integers where each integer represents the number of balloons a particular guest wants. All you need to do is print the total number of balloons you're going to ship, fine. So, and that should account applying of the special deal, fine. So let's go ahead and check it out. So when I go ahead, this is the input. Four people have requested balloons. And if you correctly see, it is, that's the way in which they have actually asked. So if I tell you that one, two, three, and four. These are the number of persons, fine. Requested balloons. And shipping number, fine. Shipping number is basically how much balloons you would ship. So for the first person has asked for three balloons. Second one has asked for six balloons. The third one has asked for two balloons. The fourth one has asked for seven balloons. If you carefully see, it is quite similar to what you were doing in the previous question. The theme is same. All you need to do is look carefully and dissect the question accordingly. Now see, this person has requested three balloons. So you can only send three balloons. That works. This person has requested six. Now this is greater than five. And for anybody who is actually asking greater than five, you need to apply the special bonus, which is double the number of balloons. So they will be getting 12 balloons. Now, the third person has requested two balloons. So simply two would be there. And then the fourth one has again requested seven balloons. So I would provide him 14 balloons, isn't it? I would provide him 14 balloons, correct? Now, when you're trying to do this, just carefully think that all you need to do while actually calculating the number of balloons you need to buy after applying the special deal basically fine so you have to calculate the number of balloons after applying the special deal and we will check whether this output is actually correct or not i have deliberately mentioned this however my creative team didn't want this because it looks like a mistake but however i have put it the reason is Recently, there was a complaint that in a test of an online exam, one of my students faced this difficulty that the output in the test cases was not matching his particular output. However, the method he was using, the solution he was giving was right. So later on, he realized after passing all the test cases that this particular value they have written wrong. Fine. So this happens in the exams. Now let's go ahead and let's check the code piece. So all you need to do is again, integer input the number of guests then you would create a hash map called balloons where you would have for example one two three and four <coughs> fine and then all you need to do is how many number of 
balloons each guest wants would be here in the value pair fine they would be stored so if i correctly remember this was 3 6 2 and 7 3 6 2 and 7 fine and then you actually pass on this to this total balloons function where you pass on this balloons as a list and i am using a different name for this particular list here and i am using guests name when i go to the function now i initialize total as zero i initialize it as zero for balloons in guests fine so i will iterate through every value in this particular list i would iterate through every value of that fine so if balloons are greater than the number of five what you're going to do is you are going to add basically this means this total equals to total plus balloons into two fine so balloons into two fine so if you see carefully the first one is three this if block won't execute i will come to else block all you need to do is add balloons to the else block so you would add this three fine so now total is three you go to the next value when you go to the next value when you reach six when you iterate over it six is greater than five it is true fine so if this is true this would work so three plus six into two fine which is six into two is twelve so this becomes fifteen now i iterate again now this would not work this time because it is two so i would go ahead 15 plus 2 simply 17 and then a double of 7 would be added because 7 is greater than 5 when i iterate over 7 so 7 into 2 14 would be added to 17 plus 14 which is equal to 31 fine so this is equal to 31 so this particular output that you're getting here is actually incorrect it is 31 that you would get fine so be prepared for such things as well and now i hope it is very simple all you need to do is actually utilize the conditions which are written here carefully and then go ahead on it fine i had told you this special bonus is a condition use it wisely this is how questions are going to come up they might seem very intriguing very tough initially but later on you'll find they are not fine so if you have some common sense if you are going ahead with a bit of dissection of the question then it would help you out now go ahead and apply this particular <coughs> coupon code web of max fine on prep insta prime why am i sharing this with you i could have easily ended this here but the reason i'm sharing this to you is because if you see carefully the number the time that you have basically at your end is very less fine so you need a structured course for preparation of code beta so how would you do that you simply go ahead on prepinsta.com fine and if you see carefully in this particular website you would find out this search bar and you simply go ahead tcs code beta that's all you need to search and you would have a complete structured course with all the questions that you need to practice competitive coding you will have languages intermediate basic coding as well but if you get shortlisted the plus point is you would always get interview preparation and core subjects preparation as well here which would help you in the interview fine so this is a complete structured course which would help you expedite your preparation in code vita so that you do not waste this important chance of yours fine and how do you get this you simply go to get prime you enroll into any of these subscriptions for example you go ahead in this 24 month subscription and you type out webhub max this is the coupon code that i had given you webhub max you simply click on it and immediately immediately without any time being wasted you'll get some discount for yourself this is the maximum discount possible so do enroll into this that would help you out and if you like this video subscribe to this channel along with that if you want any kind of mock tests that are also available here whatever you liked in this video go ahead spread it out in the society and as i always say keep doing good for others without any expectation good will come back to you have a wonderful day ahead i'll see you in some other video bye bye